Hey guys, JC6 here. Back at you with Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We are on case three where we are talking to um, Ms. Vasquez <coughs> because she's a suspect in murder. So let's go ahead and, um, you know, right now. I'm starting to eat chocolate because the recording um, is going on for a pretty long time, so I have to <clears throat> I have to start <clears throat> um, <clears throat> breaking out the I have to start eating sweets to get by. So let's see what Miss Vasquez has to say. I'm watching the clouds. Well, I guess. Um, Actually, I, I remember, um, yeah, I was, when I was stuck in a hospital one time, <laughs> oh boy, uh, I, I had to watch the clouds all day too. Yeah, I, uh, that was, that was, I mean, I didn't have anything else to do, I just stared at the clouds, and, uh, stared at the cars passing by. That's all she had to say, apparently. Yeah, do you have... Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shh. Perhaps she didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. <laughs> Here's something, Nick. She's really kicking me off. Oh crap, um, I don't know, I don't know, she must, um, well, let's see what she has to say about Mr. Powers. Uh, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer, you don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. What the heck? You were asking for script for episode 13 the other day. The Fae Blood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. Yeah, what's she talking about? She was just asking me for the script the other day. And I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manila. If you must talk about that, man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer by yourselves. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> I guess. Sorry for disturbing your cloud watching. Okay, outside Studio One. Um. Yeah, outside Studio Two. Anything new here? It's moving. Let's move into the trailer and see what's going on here. What's the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny well, still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. Um yeah, let's yeah, I don't see anything going on in Go outside Studio One. Um, studio main gate. Let's go to the employee area. I guess they're not filming today either. I didn't want to see them filming just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yo! No, 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 no touching. Eek! Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean... I almost had a heart attack. 
Hey, hey, I guess I can be a little dram dramatic at times. Supposes the actor in me. Dramatic Is it dramatic or dramatic Indeed. Uh, anyway, I'm here to examine the play on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal, traces thereof. So you're literally looking for traces of the sleeping pills. How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it will change color. Wow, neat! More detective gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So there were sleeping pills on the plate? Looks like it. Let's see, um, investigation. How goes your investigation? Tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch such suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but... I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is Edgeworth doing, anyway? It was out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot co coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, that's the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, you can see the fury in his eyes. Plus, he's got that red coat. I mean, you can tell in court he means business. I mean, just the way he slams that desk, the way he, the, the serious expression in his eyes, he had crushing paper cups, cups, bottles. So whatever happened with that empty bottle, or oh, the bottle of sleeping pills, well I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means, yep, it sounds like the one who puts Powers to sleep was not other than the victim. So I was right. Well, let's go ahead and move back to the um, wait, wait, wait a second. Let's let's go ahead and move back over here. Okay. We should move back to the um, dressing room. Oh hey, um uh Penny. What are you doing here? I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using anymore, so... Well, what? Why? But WP's innocent. Yes, I'm really grateful for all you've done, but... This week is the last episode to Steel Samurai. What? No! Oh, crap. Maybe that's... Episode 13, the last episode, I think. That might be the last episode. I wonder if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer, yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Well, I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume, too. What? Oh, would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh, I guess the rumor must be true, then. What rumor? Yeah, Miss Vasquez, that producer, has some kind of hold on Hammer. She has some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dude, you know, bad stuff. Now, I know what dirt means, but... Oh, five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using a new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set then? 
What do you mean the last steel samurai? I know it's shocked, but nothing can be done to save it now. Okay, um, I got it. Um, <clears throat> see, um, well, whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the steel samurai's death warrant. No, no. And also, I fear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore, huh? What? Why? Is it because of this murder data giving it, giving the company bad publicity, giving it a bad reputation or something, so they can't do kids shows anymore? That's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they gonna make kids shows anymore? The big studio bigwigs don't want to steal Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love to steal Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll need a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. The program just, just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something! Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Um... Well, I'm supposed to show this? And this is... A fan collected all of these photographs. Kids love to steal a samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just to, so some adults could save face. I would think that you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay, but what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Students is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Can you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died and it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammond was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks, we'll try asking her. If she'll talk. So go back to an employee area. What, you're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. And everybody's doing their darn, darnest to forget Hammer. Who do you think made Global Studios way it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer! He's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance? Um, yeah, what happened five years ago, Ms. Lodag? Um, I want to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols. Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols, that assistant we talked to. Well, thank goodness you remembered her first name, because I didn't remember. I, didn't, I, just, I just thought I didn't know her first name. Anyway, we heard about that inc incident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Well, whippersnappers? Did you have dirt on someone's past like that? And then recently depart, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And he claimed that Hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? 
Yeah, I have proof. We have that plea. I'm sorry, Mr. Obag, but I do have proof. Yeah, we do have proof, alright. Here's my proof. What, what's the little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills. With Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. I'll stop it right here, guys. Next time we'll see what Ms. Obag's reaction is. And I'll see you guys. Um, take care, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time.